Hi y'all, Kevin here. I am an illustrator and a character designer. In this video, I want you to share my Mermaid 2024 journey with you. For those who don't know, Mermaid is an art challenge created by the famous artist Tom Bancroft, where you draw a mermaid every day in May, following daily prompts. You can check it out on Instagram for more content and artworks about the challenge. I've been participating in Mermaid Science four years now. It's the perfect event to challenge myself and push my art in new direction. My goals for this year were to experiment with uh, different rendering techniques, add more storytelling to my art, and create a variety of character design. Today, I will take you with me through my art process and my mermaid journey. Let's start by looking at some previous entries from the past. So I've selected um, two illustrations per year. Let's start by 2020 with the prompt coffee. So I drew a mermaid uh, in a coffee cup. Uh, I really like her unfortunately sad uh, expression and the color palette. The coconut one was one of my almost first mermaid design. I really love her uniqueness and how the, the floor to her tail um, still one of my favorite design. I really need to redraw it. The next year I really love the wildlife prompt because I was able to draw this this full of colors and corals and fishes and different kind of sea creatures with a beautiful mermaid swimming through the, the coral reef. So I didn't uh, achieve to draw a piece with so many details, patterns and everything. I really like this one. The second one for this year was uh, a canyon mermaid so i imagine her singing with the sunlight um, through the, the canyon and i really like her design the next year it was uh, not the official prompt list but the uh, prompt list from some of my friends uh, and this one was um, corset and I imagine a uh, mermaid finding a uh, corset and she doesn't know how to wear it so she put it on her head and why not? The second one was kind of violent Disney inspired uh, even if there is a few mistakes and uh, I really love the energy and the um, character design details. Well, the next year, ooh, Captain Hook. Um, I really like drawing the kind of bad chemistry between Peter Pan and Captain Hook. It's not very clear, but they can really be lover. Well, that's not the point. I really love the crocodile tail and the whole palette where the reds are my main focus. Um, with this green ocean and um, this one was a redraw um, of uh, another mermaid entries for the past years uh, I wanted to redraw her for body positivity prompt my main inspiration behind this mermaid is clearly the singer Lizzo. Let's go back to the to this year and see my process now. So for this mermaid, I begin by setting my goals um, and planning my illustration. I wanted a fun and cool overall um, varied mermaid design and simple rendering. My first step was creating huge mood board reference with photos and art from other artists 
Um, knowing I couldn't do all the 31 prompts, I chose only 9 prompts that you can see here. So the next step, uh, I brainstorm at least 3 ideas for each prompt. I choose the best and I start drawing it. As you can see with this time lapse, I dive right uh, into each illustration using my iPad and Procreate. Um, my typical process involves creating a dynamic sketches, selecting colors, cleaning the background and the counter, then adding light and final touches. Mermay is a significant event for artists. It's a crazy cool event where everyone is united by creating work based on mermaid team. I love seeing social med my social media feed filled with mermaids and creatures. Everyone has their unique twist on the prompts and it's pretty interesting to, to see which makes uh, everything exciting and inspiring. The challenge gives a positive uh, community vibe, especially in time when social media and issues like AI can be divisive. The amazing team behind Mermaid put a lot, uh, a lot of effort to bring life and content to the event, creating a wave of positivity with lives, uh, with sharing, etc. Our challenges are great for making big, big jumps in your art style and technique. The help you. It helps to build habits, draw faster, try new color palettes, and more. While the daily aspect can be intense and pressure-filled, you can prepare by working in advance, doing fewer prompts, or going at your own pace. For me, the goal is not to burn out, since I often do Mermaid as a bonus project. This year, my focus was on drawing faster and pushing my character design skills. I was happy with the first half of the challenge, but midway, I interrupt Pat with one piece. It kinda broke the, the momentum I create and I felt like um, everything I produce afterward was super super bar super low quality um, compared to the others so i took a break uh, i drew some random doodles on my sketchbook i played with colors without without pressure and i returned flat refresh and complete the challenge without stress i finished ahead of time i was satisfied with my work so just a little warning about social media it's tough to be seen and successful but don't let it dishearten you and distract you from your goals it doesn't define your value as an artist you can push it uh, further well everything has an hand and i've finished my mummy 2024 illustration i'm relieved since i was getting a bit tired of drawing tails to be honest um, I'm super happy with the results, meet new people, made friends, achieved my goals, and I have new pieces for my portfolio. Just for fun, um, let's do a top 3 of my favorites and least favorites from um, this year's Mermaid. Uh, my favorite illustration is this... Um, coconut prompt um, as you can see because uh, it's a really special illustration um, because I imagine um, a boy who wants to be a girl and have this uh, this poster and trying to replicate his uh, favorite um, singles um, she, this is my, my first uh, the second one would probably be the one you see on the time lapse uh, with the two lovers uh, because this uh, man um, 
I created the design on previous Mermaid in 2020, I think. And I tried um, to draw them each year um, between May and June, both for Mermaid or for Pride Month. So I really love uh, drawing them um, all the time. And the third one would be this, uh, the small prompt uh, with the two mermaids interacting, looking at each other. I really love the contrast of the, the pinky colors and the green, green one and the kind of um, uh, stop moment like oh, wow um kind of how moments i really like this one and the least favorite <laughs> my first least favorite illustration is this one um uh, finally people like it um uh, but i still mm, kind of met with it because uh, I wanted to try something different, but I don't really like the result. Even if uh, I really love the different um, expression uh, throughout the, the scene. Uh, the second uh, least favorite, um, maybe the couture one. Uh, it's a tough one because I really like the concept ID with um, imagining uh, Hannah Winter, Mermaid, uh, the Queen of Passion Sea. <laughs> and I really love the rendering and the lighting in this piece, but it, um, it feels a little bit half and stiff. Um, it represents well the character but that's not really a fit uh, for mermaid I mentioned. Well, it's a cool piece. Um, and the third least favorite is probably the least one, the last one. <laughs> uh, because I didn't want to end the mermaid challenge. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Um, it's probably the top three of the least one because um, because uh, I don't really like the result compared to the sketch. Uh, to be honest, the story was stronger uh, in the sketch phase. Like the 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 boy should um, hold his breath uh, to put um, his belly in, uh, but the girls laughing. Uh, give a, a bad feeling to, to the illustration and I didn't want to achieve that uh, so I prefer to to go on the kind of um, oh girls your crush is here and the girl is em embarrassed and it works uh, better with the dynamic of the tree counter this year I learned a lot about my workflow, I incorporated more storytelling and tried to keep my design visually interesting. And you, which illustration is your favorite? Drop your answer in comments. If you like this video, give a thumbs up, share it and subscribe for more content. You can follow me on almost every platform by looking for um, The Art of Will. Um, thanks for watching and see you on the next video. Bye!